National Rental Assistance yes, Scheme. Yes. Government, the Vice President, Dr. Mahmoud mm -hmm. Bamiya, did a launch. Okay. Uh, the Minister for Works and Housing was there. Mm -hmm. Your office mm -hmm. was also there. Yes, what is the scheme that government is launching? What is okay. it about? Okay. So this, this uh, a manifesto promise that was, we were told in 2020 by the government. And since then, there's been a project management committee which comprises of the Ministry of Finance, Rent Control, Ministry of Works and Housing, Attorney General's Office, and then Office of the President. So since then, we've been meeting severally. So the idea of the National Rental Assistance Scheme is to cure these two years, one year, three years, five years rent advance that people are demanding at our back, mm -hmm. okay? So the government, through this scheme, will pay directly to the landlord the required period of time. And then you, the tenant, who have applied to this scheme, monthly rent deduction will be deducted from your account. So in general, this is the idea. So I find yeah. a house. Yeah. I'll tell the government that I found a house at exactly. uh, Tessano. Okay. Please pay the landlord yeah. so that I'll sit in peace. Okay. Is that how it works? Yeah. So first, just as you mentioned, you go and identify the property, you apply, Based on the legitimate criteria, if you pass through, the scheme official will go and look at the place and ascertain that is the rightful owner who is going, who is the landlord. Okay. Just as you mentioned, somebody can post as a landlord. a landlord and then be negotiating with the prospective tenant <clears throat> and then we'll go and pay the money and then the person will run away. Later, the rightful owner will come and they say that. So the scheme will go and verify, do all the checks and make sure the person you are going to pay the money to is the rightful landlord. Then the, the duration will be paid directly to the landlord whilst you've also applied. We also make sure we check that your repayment will come. So the government would only pay the, the legally allowed, which is a six months, no, at most six months? No, so in this case, the scheme is between the landlord and the tenant. Okay. The landlord, the tenant will come and apply the scheme will go before the landlord and tell him that, no, I'm coming to pay one year. So it's uh, not the landlord who is demanding okay, that okay. duration. So if the tenants, tenant and landlord agree that this is my place, yeah. is here, and you yeah. agree that well, I want to pay for two years yeah. to secure the place, yes. then the tenant will now go to the scheme, scheme and say, uh, yeah. I want you to pay two years exactly. upfront for, for me. me. The monthly deduction will be deducted from your What account. is the eligibility criteria? Because you keep talking okay. about monthly okay. deduction. So first, you have to be a Ghanaian. Okay. Secondly, you have to be above 18 years. Okay. You have to owe a bank account or mobile money account. Okay. Because your, your verification will be done. Mm -hmm. And then your monthly rent should not exceed 30% of your income. So if it's a year's month, uh, rent advance, we will calculate that if we accumulate all your salary for the year, the rent should not exceed 30%. So if I earn 1,000 <coughs> cities a month, yeah. I should not come and tell you to yeah. pay for a rent that is more CDs. than 300 exactly, cities. Exactly. It should be at most 300, at most 300 yes. If it's above, you will not you accept. accept. So that's the threshold that you work with. Of course. The On government... The, yeah, mm -hmm. and again, <coughs> you and your partner can combine. And then if you are taking 1,000, your partner is taking 1,000, you can then rent a 600 apartment. Oh, so the scheme is the willing scheme, then to do exactly, that? Exactly. Okay. Exactly. What about, so it means I have to be in a formal employment place? You have, you, not necessarily a formal employment, but if you are informal <clears throat> and your money passes through your mobile money account, at the end of the day, you can go to any of the telcos, they print your statement for you. We ascertain that, of course, you are using money, you are getting such income, at the end of the month, you get this amount of money. Of course, we go through all this thing and then you can be approved. I am a farmer. I yeah. don't have a bank account, but yeah. I know that every year I harvest so much produce yeah. and make so much money. Yeah. Am I qualified? Yeah, but where do you keep your money? If you keep the money under your pillow, who will know that you get this money? But at the end of the day, if you get that money and it passes through the bank, the bank will ascertain that no. You get this every year, and then that's why. Okay, I have a shop it. in Agbogloshi. <coughs> I go to sell. Yeah. I make my small money. Mm. I, I'm in retail business. Yeah. The small I have, I put in the bank. Yeah. You would have to go to the bank and check how much I've been depositing. No, it's part of the requirement that you have to produce your bank statement. So if no bank statement, money, no, no bank statement, no man, mobile money statement, you will not be but qualified. That's, that, but that's not fair. 
No, but at the end of the day, it's a money that has been paid and you are enjoying your accommodation. You have to ascertain whether the repayment will come. It's not just by mark. We have to make sure that what you are telling us is, is If there's correct. no repayment, what happens? We evict you within a month. The law requires that within a month, you should not owe the landlord. And the rent is paid at first, first of the month. So, so after two weeks, if the money is not coming, we start the eviction process. Government pays for one year. Exactly. I pay for three months. I can't pay anymore. Yeah. You suck me. You suck you. But still, the money would have gone to waste. The government no, the money, money would have will to... not be waste. We will reinstate a new landlord, a new yeah. tenant to the premises. Yeah, but if you don't get a tenant immediately... We will get a refund. The law requires that the landlord has to refund the money to the Oh, scheme. so if the person... So you yeah. bring... You, so government says, I'll pay you 1,000 cities yeah. or 10,000 cities yeah. for this guy who is staying, staying exactly. for 10 yeah. months. The guy stays for three months. He's yeah. fired at his workplace. Exactly. He can't pay you anymore. Mm. After one month, you realize he's not paying. Yeah. Then you tell the landlord that give me back, back the yeah. person's money. Or you or give us the chance to do the subletting we talked okay, about. Okay, bring somebody okay, new to, there. To come and finish the rest of the... The government is starting with 30 million cities. 30 million, that has been... That's budgeted. too small for um, accommodation issues nationwide. Yeah, because there are people renting in cantonments, you know, also <coughs> and those places. No, but there, there's a limit. We, we don't go beyond 1,005 for now. Rent. Okay. So you For can anybody at all? Anybody at all. If you can pay rent more than 2000 a month, then why do you apply for the scheme? <laughs> so with, from 100 cities up to a maximum of 1005 1005 a year. If you are getting an accommodation that is charging more than 1005 You can apply. What if it's single, double room or a two-bedroom place? Yeah, so that's what I'm saying. If you can my get that is money. I don't have money, but my family is plenty. <laughs> and I'm sure that I can give it to you. 1006 every month, I'll no, give it to you. No, but you know, we want to look at the low and medium income bracket. Okay, not the high class. What's okay. the idea behind doing it only in a few cities in the country? Now, this is just a pilot project. We extend to expand to the entire country. Okay. I want to learn lessons from these five regions. Then that will scale up to the entire Does country. it mean every year government will bring some additional 30 million? We are broke, or, uh, or you haven't heard? No, but this is a revolving fund of which the government is also going to benefit. How okay. is the government going to benefit from it? What's the interest that government gets? Um, the, interest, the interest on it, if you will state, is, is about 12%, which is added to. And there's a, a cost sharing between the government and then the service provider. Explain that. <coughs> so at the end of the day, if you are to pay the rent, if you to pay 1,000 cities, 12% will be added. That's why we say it's a low interest. Oh, okay. So that 12%... Is coming to be shared between the landlord, the service provider, and then the government, and it will be reinvested into the project. So it will be revolving. So to at the end of the day, some years to come, we'll see that it will grow by itself. So if my landlord agrees that I should pay hundred cities, yeah. and I come to the scheme, yeah. and the scheme agrees to pay, mm. I have to agree that I'll pay the scheme one hundred cities plus, plus say, twelve cities. Twelve, 12 cities, exactly. Yeah. Oh. Oh, so then you are making small money yeah, off small the person. to reinvest, to grow the, the scheme. Oh, okay, but the yeah. landlord will not pay anything to the no, government. No, 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 the landlord will not they pay anything. They are the beneficiaries, you should charge them to, um, for being the, on the scheme. <laughs> if for being on the scheme, no, they have their property. Okay. So, they, they are, you know, there, there is this property uh, rent tax mm -hmm. issue. No, they pay that. They, yes. So, so they, they are already taken care of. Okay. 